Hello. Thank you for considering Cary Academy as your next learning community. The admissions team wants to take just a moment to show you how to track your progress through our application season by utilizing your unique online admissions portal. Before we jump in, I wanted to take a moment to make sure the team introduced ourselves. My name is Heather Clarkson. I'm the Director of Enrollment Management. Hello, families. I am Shaniqua Lassiter. I'm the Associate Director of Enrollment Management. Hi, Prospective Charger families. My name is Deanna Davis, and I serve as the Assistant Director of Enrollment Management here at CA. Hello, my name is Marlene Sanchez, and I am the Enrollment Management Associate. As we go through the next few minutes together, we'll be looking at actual examples of checklists in the portal so that you can see for yourself right now what it will look like to progress. Please note that we have actually focused this journey on the experience of a family new to the admissions process at Cary Academy. If you're a current family at Cary Academy, please make sure that you utilize the tile in your resources section of your Blackboard account. And if you are a family who is reapplying to Cary Academy, please make sure you get in touch with us so that we can actually reactivate your Blackboard portal so that you don't have to recreate all of the steps that you've done for us in the past. But again, for those of you who are brand new to our process, let's go ahead and take a look at what your experience will be like. We'll start right on our Cary Academy website. Okay, to start the process in our website, we will go to admissions and how to apply. There you will find the pre-application. Once you complete the pre-application form, you will receive a confirmation email. If you have multiple children applying, please complete the pre-application for just one child. You will have the opportunity to add another child later in the process. In 24 business hours, you will receive an email with an invitation link to connect with BlackBot. This link will take you to your admissions progress screen and checklist. And you will also notice on the side that there is some information um, that is important to you as you are moving through the application process. You will also see the application under the checklist item is pending um, and the rest of the checklist will be made available to you once you've completed the application. Thank you, Deanna. And that application form is very important as it does give you access to the next steps of the application process. It is very important to note that we have a parent essay and we have a student essay. The students, uh, we want you to indicate your interest um, and opportunities that you would like to have if you are a student coming into Cary Academy. We also, parents, would love for our students to complete this step as we want to hear their voice throughout this application process. Completing the form and submitting the application again, the application fee is $85, gives you the next steps in this process. There are fee waivers available for families. We just ask that you contact our office at admissions at carryacademy.org for that information. Once you submit the application form, the remainder of the items will open for you on the checklist. So as you can see, this application is now completed and there are now multiple steps below it. Each of these steps, when you hover over the blue font, you actually can click to see a brief description of the step and check because on many of them, there's actually a link or a downloadable document in order to give you even more information on that particular step. For the supporting documentation, you are asked to upload academic records. This should be report cards from last two years and a current year. You also request, you also can request teacher recommendations. Once you put the email address and the teacher will automatically be sent a link to complete the form that comes directly back to us electronically. One recommendation for a teacher from this year and one recommendation from last year. Also an optional recommendation that you can add uh, for a community member or a coach. 
We ask the recommendations are submitted by January 6, 2023. So you will have the last week before our last consideration deadline. The next item that you will see on your checklist is for your IC or SSAT test scores. Um, as an office, we do not have a preference for which exam um, you take or your student takes. Our information about registration for the IC and SSAT is available on our website, on the application form, and in a downloadable PDF on the checklist item if you want to review it. Cary Academy is not a testing location this year, so we do encourage families to choose a ProMetric or online testing option. Um, if you select the SSAT, the online registration um, option is clearly noted on the website. If you choose the IC, however, you need to enter um, or need to select, excuse me, New York State to see the at-home test options for the Eastern Standard Time Zone. Your students should be sure to take the test level for the grade that they will be entering. So current eighth graders um, applying for ninth grade should take the upper school test. Uh, we do have fee waivers available for the IC and the SSAT, so please reach out um, to our admissions office and we're happy to assist you with those. As an important note, it's really, really important that you indicate um, the appropriate school code on the, in the test, as this is how we will receive your students' electronic test results. And we will upload those um, on behalf of the student to the checklist. If you need assistance with the codes, they can be found on that form, on the application form, or on our How to Apply page. The Shadow Day and Interview Days registration tool is available on your checklist after you have submitted the application form and fee. All of our prospective students who have completed the application form are welcome to come to campus for an in-person uh, visit. They will have an opportunity to be with a student host and they will be interviewed by a member of the admissions team. Out of state and international candidates can contact us at admissions at carryacademy.org to schedule a virtual interview. During that registration, you will also note that we ask for an emergency contact or an accompanying adult. That adult does not have to stay during the visit. The next pieces are optional. And we'll start with the optional student video supplement. This is new this year. For those of you who may have already gone through this as parents, we are opening the optional video to all of our applicants for both middle school and upper school. When you click on this step, there is a downloadable document that gives you the prompt for the video. Students have used cell phones, they've used their tablets, any sort of creative device that they have to create this video for us. And then when they are finished, they can actually upload the file itself directly to the checklist. Again, this is also a new step for those of you who have done this with us before. You do not have to upload your child's file to YouTube or any other video viewing app. You can directly upload the file right here. Miscellaneous files are optional pieces of the checklist. You can share any additional supporting information that you would like to include like artwork, additional testing, or school documents. If you have another child, press the Add Applicant to your right that will allow you to start another application. Because our admissions process is holistic and we want to make sure you have an opportunity to tell us as much information about your student as possible, we encourage you to start as soon as possible. It is holistic and it is a process, so please don't wait to get started. I do also want to plug the important um, deadlines for our admissions and financial aid application. Both of those are due January 13, 2023. And if you are interested in learning more about our financial aid program, we encourage you to visit our affordability and flexibility uh, webpage on the website. We also encourage you to come see us this fall. We have several upcoming admissions events. You can go to our website to register for multiple events. We have our upcoming uh, Experience CA Day. We have several scavenger hunts and tours available to you. Please visit the admissions events page um, to see those offerings. We also want to thank you 
for considering Cary Academy. We know that the, this process may seem a bit overwhelming, but we are here to help you. So please reach out to us at any time at admissions at Thank you.